Welcome back to Faith From Above with Watch of the Hills. My name is Sharon and this is my friend Judith. We are college students here and Judith has an amazing, inspiring canvassing testimony from our recent program. Judith, tell us all about it. For sure. Uh, I was in Oklahoma. This was probably a week and a half ago. And the morning had been a blessing. I had been praying with people sharing with them mm -hmm. who Jesus is. And I go to my next des destination, which is Taco Bell. And as canvassers, Taco Bell is where we usually um, go to have our lunch. Mm -hmm. But this time, I'm going there to canvass it. And as I approach it, I see three ladies. And they're, it, it seemed like there had been a commotion. And there was a dog in the middle. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's interesting. So I start, you know, getting closer to them, and two of the ladies leave, and they take the dog. And I approach um, this young lady. She's in her mid-20s. And so I ask her, I'm like, hi, my name is Judith. Um, have you heard about our school project? And she's like, no, I haven't. I was like, no worries. And so then I proceeded to ask her, and I said, are you a Christian, atheist, agnostic, Hindu, Buddhist? Mm -hmm. And she says, I'm a Satanist. And I said, oh, wow, okay, so uh, how do you, how does your belief work? How does, you know, um, what do you, how does that look like? And she says, well, basically we, we, we are in control of our destiny. Mm -hmm. I get to make the decisions that affect my life. And I was like, wow. And, and I asked her, are you happy? Are you satisfied? And she says, yes, I am because I know what's going to happen to me. And, you know, with witchcraft, I'm able to um, know what can and what, you know, can't touch me. And I said, wow, um, are you open to religion, Piety? Are you, you know, are you open to God? And she says, of course, yeah, I'm always open to have, you know, a discussion on this. And I said, oh, for sure. So then I took out uh, one of the books that we carry, which is Peace Above the Storm, which is Steps to Christ. And I share it and I tell her, you know, it's a step-by-step -step guide to not only gaining, but maintaining a relationship with Jesus. And I tell her, you know, we're just leaving them on a donation basis and it helps me pay my way through school as well. And she says, you know, it's interesting um, what had just happened was, I don't know if you saw, but there was a dog here, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I saw, and there were two other ladies, I, I answered, and she says, yes, well, I actually saved their dog, and they just gave me this money, so I'm able to help you out, mm -hmm. and in my mind, it clicked that, that, that the Lord had provided money so that she would be able to get this book. But that's not where the story ends. <laughs> because we have a precious book that is called The Great Controversy. Amen. And so I shared it and I said, look, in this book it helps answer commonly asked question, you know, why would a God of love allow so much sin and suffering? And how can we see that God is real? And she says, yeah, for sure, give it. And so that day, that lady was able to get um, the great controversy. Amen. So it's, <laughs> yes, so it's amazing to see how the Lord provides and also wants to meet those mm. that don't fully know him yet or mm -hmm. think that they're happy but there is some there is more satisfaction more joy Amen. so it's <laughs> yes so it's amazing to see how the lord provides and also wants to meet those mm. that don't fully know him yet or mm -hmm. think that they're happy but there is some there is more satisfaction more joy to their life to come amen that testimony really inspired me. Mm. And you know, I believe that testimony has inspired you as well. Thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, may you have faith from above. Mm. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm.